Apple Inc. is making headway into India's manufacturing pipeline. Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal said in January that Apple is targeting up to 25% of its manufacturing in India. While the minister may have been a bit too optimistic, he was not far from reality. Foxconn has invested $700 million in Karnataka and plans to set up an iPhone manufacturing facility near the international airport in Bengaluru. The Department of Industry and Commerce of the Karnataka government said in a tweet that this investment will generate about 1 lakh jobs. According to a Bloomberg report, three key Apple suppliers, Foxconn, Vistron and Pegatron, will together manufacture and supply at least 20% of Apple's global iPhone production from India. It is expected to be achieved by 2026. JP Morgan Chase, on the other hand, has estimated that the tech major will make a quarter of all its iPhones in India by 2025. So, why is Apple so bullish about India? Apple sees India as a larger and larger market. We have more and more affluent consumers who can afford Apple products. Um, in terms of supply chains, uh, Apple has very consciously decided that it needs to diversify away from China. Uh, India is a very good place for it to diversify, both through uh, its old contract manufacturers, three Taiwanese firms that were its big contract manufacturers, and they're all setting up operations in India, and also uh, Tata Electronics, which has set up uh, uh, a plant specifically, uh, plants actually, specifically to cater to Apple's demand. So that's all very positive. And I think uh, both from the demand side and from the supply side, um, we will see a greater and greater presence for Apple going forward. You see, there are a lot of luxury brands and premium brands that are increasing their sales in India, increasing their base in India. And we are seeing very, very uh, high 100% per, plus growth figures in these uh, premium brands. So now connecting it to the uh, electronics industry and more specifically the smartphones industry, if you look at Apple, that itself has grown, you know, iPhone sales in India uh, almost four to five times in the last four years. So looking at those trends, I'm not surprised at all that they are bullish on the Indian market. And with the Chinese market stagnating, and then the European markets also, you know, maturing and with an aging population, here what we are seeing in India is an absolute and exponential growth prospects for the retail uh, and the luxury brands. Apple's increasing focus can also be seen through its internal management changes. Hughes Asiman, Apple's vice president in charge of Middle East, Mediterranean, East Europe and India, recently retired. Now, Ashish Chaudhary, head of Apple India, has been promoted to report directly to Apple's head of sales. This shows Apple's focus on India as it is not clubbed together with other regions. Sales of iPhones in India soared even when global sales of the device dropped. This is another reason which underscores India's growing importance for the tech major. One of the steps towards this is the $700 million investment in Karnataka. But why did Apple choose Karnataka out of all the states? So, first of all, I think the states that have been chosen, um, you know, for all the investments, they all tend to be in the south of the country for a very simple reason. We tend to have, I think, a more disciplined workforce. We tend to have better infrastructure. Um, we tend to have probably a more skilled, generally, both uh, a skilled labor force from the point of view of engineering and a more skilled labor force and disciplined labor force from the point of view of uh, the shop floor workers. Um, so from all those angles, the South has made more sense. In terms of this specific investment in Karnataka, uh, Karnataka has also, as you know, announced a change in its labor laws, um, specifically to address the demands and needs of Foxconn. And in particular, to provide much greater flexibility in terms of shift work and also becoming more flexible in terms of women's employment. Uh, that's, again, something that we should really be enhancing. Uh, we have really very limited, very low labor force, female labor force participation ratios in the country. One of the key reasons behind Apple's optimism towards India is the growing demand for devices and services. However, experts have expressed concerns that this increasing demand is largely coming from the affluent class, while there is no significant increase from the lower economic strata. Another important aspect in India is the change in labor laws. While critics may argue against the increased limit of working hours, experts say that the change in labor laws will increase female workforce participation. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.